When Mindscape was released in February 2018, we implemented functionality to easily produce PDF files. Since then, and many updates later, we have implemented major enhancements and improvements to Plot Designer within Mindscape 7. This version of Plot Designer has been completely enhanced. We are very confident that the Plot Designer can easily replace Plot Slot and make it much easier and efficient for users to edit or create a plot. Some of the major enhancements are design and easily construct a title block and save it as a template for use in other plot designs. Legends can now be generated directly in Plot Designer. Easily merge cells for text and images. Easily include images. Access other user-defined variables in the plot design for text replacement and plots. Easily add and adjust viewports for displaying data. Easily cut and paste Excel information, including chart images. Display and plot triangles, even when using visual overrides. Aerial photographs can easily be included and printed to PDF. PDF file supports all the visual visualizations within Mindscape. True type fonts are available. And there's plot slot to plot designer converter has been refined and can be accessed under file convert. A separate video will be included on the start page to go into more detail about all the newly included enhancements for Mindscape 7 plot designer. Okay, to create a plot design, Select a quick key icon and either select an already created plot design or create a new plot design using the wizard. After opening, a plot design window is created and now you can create your design or adjust a previously created design. A blank design will be opened, I'll show you, and we'll add some elements to it. So if we use the quick key launch plot designer, You'll see I have a blank and I also have a, a template that I've saved. So we'll go into the blank. So just double click the blank. You can give it a plot file name. And you can give it a description if you like. I'm going to change this to my um, initials. I'm going to go next. I'm going to select a size sheet I want, landscape. Next. And I'm going to add a North Carolina scale, scale bar right now. As you can see, a, a, a blank sheet opens up, and it's as easy as grabbing a hold of your, your um, layers that you want to put in the plot design if you don't want to do anything else. So I'm going to do like the middle A roof contour. So I can click on it, or you can drag and drop. So there's the middle A contour, and I also probably want to turn on my drill holes. So just click on that. I'll turn on annotation. So there's my annotation. I can give it a scale, say 15,000. And there's a scale bar here. I can just show the variable. And if I zoom in, okay. And I'll do a fit. Make sure my scale is good. I'm going to change this north arrow. I always like to put my north arrow on this side. I'll make it bigger. I'm going to just change the north arrow I want to use. So there's a north arrow. So it's as easy as that. If I, if I do a preview, this is what it's going to look like. I can actually print this and send it right to the right to a PDF. Now, if I wanted to put a title block on there, we have some icons up here to create the title block. So if I create, you'll see this, a nine by four, and I'm just gonna anchor it. Okay. And I'll just, I'll just start adjusting some of these rows. Like I'm gonna merge this as an example. You can merge cells. I wanna actually merge these two. I'll merge this one. So that looks pretty good. You can you can adjust the the columns if you want to want to. So there's a title block. I can now put text in this as an example. So I'll create a subcontainer called text. 
and I'll just open it up. I'm going to use these user defined variables just so I can show you. Make these a little bigger. Now, these are user defined variables. So if I just go hit this icon, plotting variables, I could say this is middle A roof. Then if I just toggle this, it automatically adjusts this. Like here, here I want to make another text container. <clears throat> I'm going to put my address in there, and I'm just going to cut and paste. A little too big. And then this one I want to put, a, um, I have an icon or an image I want to use. So I'll create an image container. I'll just grab all my image. So there is, there's a quick text box. I can actually save this as a template if I wanted to, just by doing a file save as. And you can have it a template, plot file, a plot template, or a title block template. I'm not going to change. I'm not going to save that. I'll just do a print preview, see how it looks. It's ready to go. You can also you can also use a control zoom, so you can zoom in. You can pan this window. You could do a fit to the window. And that's all set up under your environment plot designer. And I uncheck keep paper centered on screen. So I can do that. And I can always get back here and get my scale right. Everything looks good. And I can save this. So it's as easy as, as building. That's as easy as building a new one. I'm going to say no to save this. So what I can do is just open up a plot design again, one that I have already created as a template. So I can give it a different name, test 02, create. So there, there's a template. And if I, if I show hide variables, you won't see them all. So I have to actually go change these because it doesn't know this is a template. Loop contours. So let's see, it fills this out. I'll just zoom in so you can see how it looks right there. And if I zoom back out, fit. Make that a little bit bigger. And these, this scale bar and this north arrow are linked to this data. So if I rotate the data, you can see this the north arrow changing. I didn't lock my scale because I didn't need to. I can pan it around. 
I can save that or I can print it. Print preview and I notice I didn't have my annotations on, which is a great thing to print preview. I can turn my annotations on and I can go ahead and print this. So it's just that easy to do plot designers. <clears throat> and again, you just hit the print button and that's going to send it directly to PDF. So there's my PDF file.